Hey guys, it's Richard with Fish and Nile Channel and Reese.com where we're here in sunny California and I'm here with my good friend Kevin Erickson of Master. How are you my friend? I'm doing alright, thank you for having me Richard. Good to see you as always. Now tell me, Magna's right around the corner. Tell me a little bit about Magna 19. Yeah, just in a couple days, Magna 2019 will be in Orlando, Florida at the Walt Disney World Swan and Dolphin Resort. But Swan and Dolphin Resort is actually just touching Epcot. You can stay at the Dolphin Resort with everyone at Magna and actually walk or yeah. take a boat uh, to Epcot or actually over to the other Disney parks as well. And then tell me a little bit about the Magna 19. What's, what's the highlight of them? How many speakers we're having this year? You guys are always known to have like, you guys go really like beyond, above and beyond and having amazing speakers. You guys make it into like a, such a engaging, fun, educational conference. Tell me a little about yeah. how many uh, speakers this time. So last year at Magna 2018, we celebrated 30 years, but for Magna 2019, mm -hmm. uh, we're, it's our 31st show and we're celebrating aquaculture. That is uh, awesome. So at Magna 2019, we're actually gonna have about half of our speakers aquaculture focus, and then the other half will be covering a variety of topics. So we'll have about 22 speakers yeah. this year. Uh, last year we had dual speaker tracks, but this year one speaker at a time. Uh, okay. So people can go to all of the speakers or they right. can go to the workshops or the meetups. Mm -hmm. uh, we still have that Friday night reception and that Saturday night banquet. Awesome. Uh, so if you're watching this, you can go ahead and go online to magna.org and awesome. you can pick up either a one day ticket. They can either show up Friday, Saturday or Sunday, or you can go to get a three day ticket and show it up for all three days. That's very awesome. And I really love the fact that you guys are covering the aquaculture. It's something that is close and dear to my heart. I've been covering this. I've been screaming from the top of my lungs for years now and I'm, I'm I'm so happy to see this, so, such a big show like your show yeah. coming and just covering it. It's just, I'm just so excited to see what goes on. I mean, these kind of guys, I mean, you don't really see them unless you go into like a reading section of our industry. And even that is very, very small. And I'm, I'm so happy to see that you guys are bringing so many people from rising tide, yeah. you know, and then like, you know, you guys, you guys are making me very excited. I'm so looking forward to this. So not only are our speakers be focusing on, on celebrating off culture, a lot of our exhibitors are very excited as well. Yeah. Uh, so if you head to any social media platform, you look for that hashtag MACDA 2019, mm -hmm. a lot of our exhibitors are advertising the fact that they're bringing, you know, just heaps of aquaculture coral yeah. and fish. We're going to have a lot of debuts of a lot of uh, new species of uh, fish yep. uh, on display. So not yep. only look for it in the speakers, but look for the, the the, on the booth. Yeah, the exhibitors are going to yep. be celebrating off culture as well. Absolutely right. I, my friend Jordan, and a couple other friends at ORA, they're coming, bringing in some amazing aquaculture species and captive bred species, as well as biota. Tom Bowling from Palau, he he has something, something very that that will just blow people's mind away. So be sure to check those guys out. Also, they do phenomenal work, and they're kind like and they're pioneering right now in the bleeding edge of you know aquaculture right now. Yes. It's something that's something you guys should definitely check out. And um, you know, Kevin, you guys really um, recently announced next year's destination already. Yep, so we're here at Reef Palooza, California, uh, about you know 54 weeks ahead of our MACTA 2020 dates. Wow. So we have MACTA 2019 at the end of August, from August uh, 30th to September 1st, mm -hmm. uh, 2019. Yeah. Uh, but in 2020, we're actually heading over to uh, sunny Phoenix, Arizona. So Arizona. as you see behind us here, and we have uh, posters and pictures mm -hmm. you probably see uh, in B-roll, uh, we are launching back to 2020. So Phoenix, Arizona, we got our reef oasis in the desert. And well, we'll be launching that website publicly right before MACNA 2019. Uh, so maybe in a couple days after you watch this, we'll have the uh, MACNA at the Sheraton Grand Phoenix uh, for the hotel and across the street at the Phoenix Convention Center. Very nice, very nice. And uh, do we have any details on how much it's going to be? I know you guys always give some kind of promotion yes. for the early birds. Yep. Is there any like special promotion for, for the early birds this year? Yep, so both at MACNA 2019 and uh, here, here at Reef Palooza, California, we have the same deal. You're going to save $60 if you buy your ticket at the show. You're also going to get the MACNA 20, uh, 2020 t-shirt as well. Mm -hmm. Additionally, we'll have the, the posters that we have here on the table, in addition to some postcards and buttons. We have that button hunt every year at MACNA. Uh, so nice. definitely, uh, hotel rooms will start at $150 a night with no service fee, uh, just the normal taxes. And then the, the tickets will be $60 off at the show. So wow. if you're at here at Reef Palooza or if you're at MACNA 2019, or online during MACNA 2019, mm -hmm. buy your ticket then because right after that we'll raise the price and as sales progress throughout the year, that right. price goes all the way all the way up up to $200 by the end. So right, right, save right. early on. Right, you know, do yourself a favor and do, do the early bird special so that, yeah. you know, like I mean, in the end, you're gonna spend the money anyway to go there. But if you're yeah. going to going to it anyways, why not save money, right? Yeah, we'll have another promotion but at MACNA 2019. So, so for those people who are at the show, mm -hmm. you can take a selfie in front of our 
selfie wall that we'll have, kind of like we did for at nice. Macna 2018 for 19. Mm -hmm. We'll have a hashtag going to Macna 2020, gotcha. and the winner of that campaign will have three free nights in the hotel. Gotcha. So. And then like, let's take it back for a little bit. You know, for those those of you are our viewers that are pretty, pretty much new to the hobby, <clears throat> what is what is Macna and what is Macna? Yep. So Macna is the Marine Aquarium Societies of North America. Mm -hmm. We're basically almost 40 or 45 clubs around North America all right. come together to make a society for societies. And we own the Marine Aquarium Conference of North America. So a big aspect of MASNA, which is the nonprofit, is educating our members. And one way in which we do that is through the MACNA Conference. And I really I appreciate MASNA, uh, you know, for, because like, there's so many different reef clubs, and, but without the help of MASNA, those help those clubs will struggle a lot. They actually reimburse a lot of the club speakers and such. Yes. Those are some of the things that, that they don't publicly, you know, like announce, but I know what's, what goes around behind the scene and I always appreciate that because, you know, education is almost, you know, always very important to have a successful reef. And we all want everyone to be successful, you know, like last thing we want to see is somebody failing in our, you know, in their aquarium and such and have to stay for the hobby and just leaving, you know. We want people to stay here for the long term, enjoy their slice of ocean, and I appreciate Masna putting such a good, huge amount of efforts to that. Yeah. And, uh, what I also what I also really liked about Mass now was that you, every year you guys give a scholarship. So yeah, this is our this is our eleventh year for the Mass Student Scholarship Program. You you be able to meet this year's scholarship recipients at, at Mac 2019. Yeah. Uh, both will be coming out, and we'll be sending out press releases uh, mm -hmm. here in the days leading up to Mac 2019 uh, awesome. with more information. So if people want to go ahead and support Mass individually, mm -hmm. you can go to Mazda.org and become a member or support us in one of our programs. Yeah, let's let's get into a little bit more of that scholarship program because yeah. I I wish you know like I had known something like this when I was, you know, when I was going to school. This is, uh, what are the, you know, like a prerequisites of, of entering for this kind of uh, scholarship uh, event? Yeah, so we look for students uh, who are in a marine science degree, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's, you know, just pure biology or if your school happens to have a, like a marine biology or marine science program. Right. Uh, and also we're looking for someone who is a hobbyist at heart and is trying to uh, progress some sort of boundary uh, in the marine aquarium space. So typically our, uh, our awardees are both hobbyists and aspiring or uh, actual scientists. So. Gotcha. And then just to give an example, uh, last year, can you tell us who won last year and then what their impact was to the hobby? Yeah, so last year our undergraduate winner was uh, Gabby and she's working uh, with researchers at her university, Roger Williams University, right. uh, to basically make a phone app to look at how sustainable fish are at the point of sale. So if you're at a local fish store you can go ahead and pull up that app and kind of match the name of the fish to the app to see how sustainable is my choice in purchasing this, purchasing this fish. And our graduate winner, his name is Mike. And he'll be at, uh, they'll both be at the show actually this year as well. Yeah. And Mike is working on, I think he's doing the, the DNA of coral when it's being stressed uh, by heat. And so he's looking at the responses uh, to coral while it's being uh, potentially bleached. Right, and it's, it's so important because it's what's going on in our ocean right now. Exactly, right. Very pertinent to not only like science as a whole, but also to the marine aquarium hobby. Very very awesome, very awesome. I just wanted to bring that to your attention because you know, like these are some of the stuff that's going around behind the scene, but not many of us are aware of. And you know, something like this is something that you should definitely be behind of, check out during the show because it's, I mean, it's such a huge show. Yeah. But I mean, you know, they did a fantastic job. They create a wall of poster. Basically, it just highlights all all the students' work, not only the winners but the runner-ups as well, right? Yeah. No, the poster program is actually independent of the scholarship is program. That, okay. So if whether you're a 14-year-old who is growing frags in your house. Mm -hmm. your parents house and you want to show the world about your research or if you're just a general hobbyist or if you're an undergraduate or a graduate scholarship winner or a recipient or if you're just a student you can go ahead and have a poster at MACA. We're trying to make sure that everyone has access to all of the science. A lot of our campaigns and programs within MASNA are trying to make sure that we we educate hobbyists uh, through all means whether through the exhibitors or through you know access to scientists or through the scholarship recipients or through the poster program. That's awesome. So MACA 2019 as I said is at it's the a Disney. Disney World Swan and Dolphin Resort, right? And so uh, years ago when we made this uh, this booking, you know, we didn't know at the time that both they would have their food and wine festival at Epcot, but also Disney is launching their Star Wars world, right? Oh. So parking will be limited on site. We have about 100 spots available for $10 per entry. So if you're arriving early in the morning on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday and driving into Macca, you can park on site for $10. But 
We have free parking off-site with limo, limo buses going around from the new Worldwide Corals office. So in the coming days, uh, leading up to MACNA as well, we'll be advertising the address of the Worldwide Corals facility, and you can park there for free and then take a shuttle bus to MACNA, yeah. buy all your corals, see all the speakers, and then head back to the, the facility and, and drive home. So whether you're an individual, you can support Mazda by being a member for just $20 a year. Right. If you're a family, the, the option is $35. If you're a club or you're on the board of directors of a club, uh, you can support, become a Mazda member for $50. A big deal for clubs, is, as yeah. Richard said, is that Mazda Speaks program. So you become a member of Mazda for $50. Mm -hmm. We can turn around and give you up to $500 a year to bring speakers, these Magna quality speakers, to your club. So Absolutely. in case your club members can't come to a Magna, we can bring basically a Magna speaker to you. Mm -hmm. Additionally, this year and in 2020 and in the years past, you can find our Magna presentations on YouTube. Yep. So you can go ahead and type in Magna and then a presentation title, or if you know of one of our past speakers, you can go ahead and yep. watch those talks on YouTube. I mean, the conferences like this is like, you know, they don't come often. And to have all these brain power under one roof is just something almost majestic. <laughs> <laughs> so be sure to check them, check them out. Oh, and a one quick question. Kevin, I known you for about close to 10 years yeah. now. Now, what's the story behind the hat? So this is actually a work hat when I... <laughs> you want to... 2,000 years later. So Kevin, I, so I've known you for about close to uh, 10 years now. Yeah. Now, what is the hat? So this is actually a work hat. When, uh -huh. you, when you're a marine biologist, you have to protect not only your body, but your head and your neck as well. Right, but right. Uh, at MACTA 2010, when I first joined the Mazna board, I actually happened to have it with me, but I didn't have a cell phone at the time. So we used the hat so that people can find me in the showroom floor. And now every year, I, although I do wear it for work, I bring it here to the show. So yes, I'm on the plane. I wear the hat on the plane and I store the hat above, you know, so that it doesn't get wrinkled. It, it's, it's received some damage over the years. It gets salty, it gets sunscreen on it. it it does kind of pop around and it changes shapes depending on its need. But you know, at the show, I, I, I'm only six foot three, so most people only. can still see my eyes when I'm walking around. But but this way, you know, people can find me and they can look across the show and floor. And now it's just tradition. So. It's a tradition. It's tradition. Yeah, that's that's the only way for me to like find Kevin. Like, where's There's the guy Kevin. with the hat? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks, Kevin, for having me here. Thank you. Talking about 2019 Magna, and I look forward to seeing you guys there as well as Magna 2020. And also, uh, there's a special announcement coming. Be sure to check out magna.org. Ma magna.org, yes. And for more special um, accommodation as well as information and some promotions that they'll have along the way.